good day everyone so we are now in uh, our module number eight so we will discuss about uh, the sum of geometric sequence now going back to our arithmetic se uh, sequence uh, we discussed about the arithmetic series now in geometric sequence we have also the geometric series the geometric series is uh, is the sum the sum of the terms of a geometric sequence so in geometric series we have two uh, two geometric series we have the finite geometric series and we have also the uh, infinite geometric, se uh, geometric series so going back with the definition of finite and uh, finite and infinite um, sequence when we say finite it has a limitation infinite um, no boundaries so lash limitations so compare natin yung dalawa to differentiate the two ang ang infinite meron tayong makikita na yung triple dot the triple dot means um, the sequence the sequence goes beyond the numbers indicated sa ating um, example so we will discuss one by one unahin muna natin yung finite geometric series so finite geometric series represents the sum of a finite number of terms in a geometric uh, sequence so finite it has a uh, limited numbers limited terms so meron tayong apat na formula na gagamitin sa pag pagkuha ng sum ng finite geometric series so ito yun siya these are the following so the first formula is this one so, we have to familiarize with this formula s sub n is equal to a sub 1 minus a sub n times r all over 1 minus r. It is applicable, we're going to use this one, if the common ratio is not equal to 1. So, ano ba yung mga numbers na not equal to 1? Uh, 2, 3, negative 4, negative 8. Basta hindi siya equal to 1. Okay, next one, we have this formula. S sub n is equal to n times a sub 1 if r naman is equal to 1. So, ginagamit ito siya if yung ating common ratio is equal to 1. So, example, ano ba yung example ng, ng geometric sequence na ang common ratio niya is 1. Madali lang ma-identify na yung common ratio niya is 1 if nakita nyo yung yung terms sa se geometric sequence pare-pareho. Halimbawa, meron tayong um, 7 7 7 7 and so on. So, this one is a geometric sequence because the common ratio here is 1. 7 divided by, divided by one, 7 is 1. 7 divided by 7 is 1. So, ito yung example niya. If the common ratio is 1. So, ito yung gagamitin natin ng formula. So, mamaya, after kumaya present lahat ng for, formula, we will have an example para ma ma-apply natin yung ating formula. Okay. Next, in particular, if R naman is equal to negative 1, the sum S sub N simplifies to ito yung first, ay uh, third, uh, S sub N is equal to 0 if N is even. So, 0 yung sum if n is even. The last formula is s sub n is equal to a sub 1 if n is odd. So, later on, sa example natin, we will try to use 
these four formulas. Okay, we will we have also um, the infinite geometric series. So ginagamit ito siya represents the sum of infinite number of terms in a geometric sequence. Yung nga, yung sinabi ko kanina, you will identify, you can ident um, automatic identify infinite geometric sequence kung makita yung patong dot, that means it is a geometric, uh, infinite geometric sequence kasi wala siyang limitation. It is infinite. So, the formula in infinite geometric series ay iba. Ito yung kayang formula. The formula is um, S sub infi uh, S of infinity is equal to A sub 1 over 1 minus R. Where, where the common ratio, yung ating common ratio is between negative 1 between negative 1 and 1. So, y yung mga numbers between negative 1 and 1 are actually fractions. So, mga fractions, let's say, negative 1 half. Negative 1 half is between negative 1 and 1. Ano pa? Negative, uh, 1 third is also between negative 1 and 1. 1 over 8. So, basta hindi siya, hindi siya, uh, lalampas na negative 1, at hindi rin siya lalampas sa 1. So, yun yung mga uh, ratio na belong dito sa sum of infinity. Okay, so we have the two, the, the finite geometric series. Ito yung formula niya, apat. And, actually, ito, ito, ito siya, pati itong tatlo. Pwede naman ito siyang gagamitin natin, pero ito siya kasi, it is a shortcut para mas madali yung ating, um, paghahanap ng sum. And we have also the infinite geometric series. So, yan siyang formula. So, now we will have an example. Okay, example. For each given geometric series, sequence rather, find the sum of the first, number one, five terms of 4, 12, 36, 108. Now, to, for us to identify or to determine kung anong formula ang gagamitin natin. So, this one, so, this one, um, this one, um, is not, uh, really indicates that this, this is, um, infinite geometric, uh, sequence. Kasi meron man tayong, so, first statement natin, first five terms, first six terms, first nine terms, first six terms, first seven terms. So, meron siyang limitation din. So, nilagay lang ito siya dito, itong triple dot, para hindi na enumerate lahat ng terms doon sa statement. Sige. Let's uh, identify muna natin kung ano yung common ratio para malaman natin kung ano yung formula na gagamitin natin. Kasi itong formula number one natin, pag yung common ratio is not equal to 1, ito naman gagamitin pag yung common ratio natin is 1. Itong dalawa sa baba, gagamitin siya pag yung common ratio natin is equal to negative 1. So, number 1, ano ba ang common ratio ng number 1? So, that's 4 and 12, diba? So, 12 divided by 4 is 3. So, the common ratio for number 1... for number 1 the common ratio for number 1 is 3 so saan ba dito ang gagamitin natin so we will use this first one kasi 3 is not equal to 1 so we have S of 5 terms is equal to 
the first term, which is 4, minus, uh, minus the, uh, the last term, a sub n. Ano ba next term dito? The next term here is, I now you multiply that here 108, 108 times uh, 108 times 3, that's 324. So the next term is 324. So we have times 324 times the common ratio is. Four minus nine seventy two is nine negative nine sixty eight negative nine six eight divided by negative two. So negative nine six eight divided by two is the final answer is four hundred eighty four. So the sum the sum of first five terms is four hundred eighty four. Now, I have here, sana ba yan? Okay, let's... Okay, sige. Let's proceed to number 2. For number 2, so we have 3, negative 6, negative 12. So the common difference is, what is the common difference, a uh, common ratio for number 2? So the common ratio is, negative 6 divided by 3, that's negative 2. So, negative 2 yung ating common ratio. Negative 2. So, ano ba yung pang 6 term dito? Negative 12, 48, tama? 48, tapos, pang 6 term natin is negative 96. Okay? 48, negative uh, 96. So, we will use the... Ano bang gagamitin natin? Ang common ratio natin is negative 2. So, the first also, the first one. So, the, the sum of the first six terms is equal to... The first term is 3 minus the last term, which is negative 96. Don't forget to have a parenthesis here to separate the, uh, the negative sign here from uh, another sign here sa, talo, sa labas. So, negative 96 times negative 2 all over 1 minus uh, 1 minus one minus negative 2. The common ratio is negative so the sum here is s sub 6 is equal to 3 ito ay multiply natin itong dalawa negative 96 times negative 96 times negative 2 times negative 2 is 192 so minus minus 
minus 192 over ano ba nangyari dito? over, sige over so 1, since magkasunod ito so it's negative times negative so maging positive na yan, plus na yan siya so 1 plus 2, so that's 3 So, we have 3, 3 minus 192 is negative 189. Tama? So, divided by 3. So, the sum of the first 6 terms is equal to negative 189. Negative 189 divided by 3, that's 63. So, the answer is the sum is negative 63. So, that's the sum of the first six terms. So, if you want to um, to check your answer, you can use actually your calculator. You you add successively. Pero what if uh, yung numbers na nabigay is huge? So, we will use the formula para malesen yung trabaho natin. Okay, so number three tayo. So, number three... Uh, find the first find the sum of the first 9 terms of ito 11, 11, 11, 11 as you can see um, the common ratio here, here is 1 kasi pare-pareho man siya so ang gagamitin natin ito itong second formula so second formula ang gagawin natin the sum uh, S sub N is equal to the number of terms ilang ba lahat ng terms sa sequence, sa geometric sequence, times the first term. So, ganun na yung gagawin natin. So, meaning, ang sagot natin for number 3, the common ratio is 1, ang gagawin natin, S sub 9, or the sum of the first 9 terms is equal to 9, kasi N natin is 9. Ilan lahat ang terms? So, 9 times the first term, which is 11. So, 9 times 11 is 99. Ay, sorry, hindi. Uh, 9 times 11. So, that's 99. Ah, pala. 99. S sub 9 is equal to 99. So, ganun lang kasimple. Pag yung common ratio natin is equal to equal to 9 equal to 1 rather ok let's proceed to number ok to 4 for number 4 find the sum of the first 6 terms of negative 3 3 negative 3 3 so as you can see so siniparate ko na talaga no? siniparate ko na lang yung yung formula na gagamitin so dito tayo mamimili kung ano yung gagamitin natin na formula so, we have negative 3, uh, 3, negative 3, 3. So, as you can see, the common ratio here is 3 divided by negative 3 is negative 1. So, applicable itong, itong formula. Negative 1 yung common ratio. For number 4, the common ratio is negative, negative 1. Tapos, meron tayong condition. Dalawa. If n is even or yung number of terms number of terms is even zero siya zero ang sagot tapos if n naman is odd ang sagot is yung first term ang sagot so for number number 4 since 6 is an even number we can conclude that the sum of the first 6 terms is equal to zero Kasi if we're going to uh, continue ito dito, so negative 3, 3. Ito di ba yung first 6 terms? Kasi kung yung partner, partner natin siya, negative 3 plus 3, 0. Negative 3 plus 3, 0 din. So negative 3 plus 3 is 0. So 0 is the answer. Okay, number 5. So the same pa rin yun siya, pero pagkakaiba dito, odd naman siya. Paano kung odd? Ang odd naman is 
the answer is always always your first third so the answer for number five is negative three kasi kung i-partner partner natin siya halimbawa ito i-continue natin halimbawa ito negative three so partner yung neg yung nagisa kasi walang walang partner yung isa so meaning yun yung maiiwan so that will be the first term so yun yung uh, dalawa if the common ratio is negative to one is equal to negative one there are two possible if even siya zero if odd naman the answer is yung first term or a sub one Okay, let's proceed. Bakit 5 ito dito? Let's 6. Let's proceed to number 6. For number 6, the common ratio is 3 over uh, 3 fourth, 3 fourth divided by 3 fourth is 1. So, 3 fourth divided by 3 fourth is 1. So, the common ratio is 1. So, ano yung kanina? That is the sum of n is equal to n minus a sub 1 pag yung sum is so we have the sum of 8 terms is equal to there are 8 terms 8 terms times the first term 3 4 so that is 8 times 3 is 24 over 4 so 24 over 4 is 6 so the sum of the first eight terms of the geometric sequence 3 4 3 4 3 4 is 6 okay so yun yung ating uh, mga solutions using the different formulas sa finite geometric series so yan siya okay let's proceed to the next one which is the infinite geometric series Ito yung example natin. Find the sum of infinity of each geometric sequence. Okay, ano nga ba dapat ang condition? The condition is the common ratio must be between negative 1 and 1. So, for number 1, so obviously, ang ano dito, uh, this triple dot indicates um, it is infinite infinite sequence geometric sequence so identify natin dito so ito na lang gamitin natin kasi ito masyadong ng uh, malaking number so mas madali ito the common ratio is 1 fourth and 1 fourth is between um, between negative 1 and 1 so ito yung formula natin so the sum of infinity for number 1 the sum of infinity is equal to the first term which is 64 over 1 minus 1 4 okay so the sum of infinity uh, sum infinity is equal to 64 over what is 1 minus 1 fourth? 1 minus 1 fourth is equal to 3 fourth. Then, fraction tayo. So, 64. Kunin natin reciprocal nito. And proceed to multiplication. The reciprocal of 3 fourth is 4 thirds. Reciprocal means you are going to get the reverse. Ibabalik tal lang natin. Yung numerator maging denominator. Yung denominator maging numerator. Then, we will simplify 64 times 4 is 256. 256 over, over 3. Tingnan natin kung pwede ba ma-divide ang 256 ng 3. So, ano siya? May decimal point. So, pwede ito na ang final answer. The sum to infinity uh, of the geometric sequence 64, 16, 4, 1, and so on is 256 over 3. 
mas accurate kasi frag fraction ang ating sagot. So, yan yung ating, hindi na siya ma-lowest term because um, wala silang common divisor. Okay, let's proceed to number 2. For number 2, what is the common uh, what is the common ratio here? So, the common ratio is sige. So, natin ha. Common ratio is equal to 1 over 9 divided by 1 third. So, that's 1 over 9 times reciprocal nitong denominator, that's 3 over 1. So, 3 over 9 or 1 third divisible by 3. 3 divided by 3 is 1. 9 divided by 3 is 3. So, the common ratio is 1 third. So, we'll use the formula sum of infinity is equal to the first term is 1 third over 1 minus 1 third. So we have 1 third over 1 minus 1 third is 2 third. Then, we'll do the fraction, 1 third times reciprocal nito, 3 over 2. So, we have 1 times, 1 times 3 is 3 over 6, or 1 over 6 is 1 half. So, the answer is 1 half. And the last one, we have uh, ito, negative, negative 4, negative 1, negative 1 fourth, negative 1 over 16. So the common, um, the common ratio here is neg uh, negative 1 divided by negative 4 ito 1 fourth 1 fourth na no? try na natin ito baka hindi siya 1 fourth so negative 1 fourth divided by negative 1 is 1 fourth din siya so the common ratio is 1 fourth for number 3 we have the common ratio is 1 fourth so we have we will use the formula so, S sub infinity, uh, infinity is equal to A sub 1. Ano A sub 1 natin? Negative 4. Negative 4. Negative 4 over 1 minus the common ratio, which is 1 4. So, we have negative 4 over 1 minus 1 fourth is 3 fourth. Then we have negative negative 4 times the reciprocal of the denominator that's 4 thirds. Then we have negative 4 times 4 is negative 16 over, understood na may 1 kasi yan, so 1. 1. So, the answer is negative 16. Ah, sorry, this is 3. Negative 16 over 3. The answer is negative 16 over 3. So, ito ang sagot dito. Okay, so, yun yung mga solutions natin using the formulas that we discussed. So, review natin yung mga formula sa taas. 
balikan natin. Yun yung pinaka-last natin na example. Okay. So, we'll review para ma-familiarize natin yung ating formula. Okay, ito. So, the first one, in, uh, in finite geometric series, we have four. The first one is this one. It is used when the common ratio is not equal to one. The second one is used when the common ratio is equal to one. The last two formula is used when the common ratio is equal to negative one. Zero ang sagot pag even yung number of terms. A sub 1 naman pag yung n natin or yung number of terms natin is odd. Sa inf infinite geometric sequence series rather, we have S sub n uh, S sub infinity is equal to A sub 1 over 1 minus R. Wherein, R natin is between negative 1 and 1. So, mga fraction yung ating um, common ratio here sa sum of infinity. Okay, that's all for, for this video, for this topic. So, we are done with finding the sum of a geometric sequence. We have the infinite geometric uh, infinite geometric series and the finite geometric series. So, thank you and have a nice day, everyone.